Sorry Hudson can't be here because he's at work. He got a job as a landscaper. So, we're going to be talking about Halloween and how Ham, Ham Pal loves Halloween. So, today is the day and tomorrow's the tomorrow and Thursday's the Halloween day, night is Train Horn Haunted Forest. We got the car packed with our air tank, our train horns. These are actually Buell Amtrak air horns. They're going to be loud as fuck. And we brought a fire truck horn. But the fire truck horn, it's going to be a sneak preview of next year's St. Patrick's Day. So, y'all know everything about St. Patrick's Day. We're getting a moped, a Honda Ruckus to pull the air tank and stuff. But, let's talk about Halloween. I mean, since we were kids, me and my family, we would be trick-or-treating all over the island. There was like, um... This place, way in like, um, I forgot the street, but they had like, it was well known for trick or treating. But you gotta look out for the scarers. We were little at the time, so we had no idea where we went trick or treating and trick or treating. Then we went, then when, when we gradually got older and our hormones got older, everything of us got older. Um, we had car horn Halloween. And you know what car horn Halloween is? Um, we hide behind a bush and we have a, a motorcycle battery and a set of car horns. And when people walk by with their children, we would honk the car horn and the little kid will get shook it up uh, and they drop their candy. And one of us will go swoop, nab their candy, take their bag of candy, and take off with it. I mean, we, he, he got tricked, then we got his treat. So, we would ditch off in the woods with his bag of candy. That little kid was crying and shit. That was fucked up. But, we were kids. We didn't know better. So, since we got older and older, we realized, that's really messed up. We just destroyed a little kid's Halloween. Of course, the cops were called, but they had no idea who it was. But we were juveniles at the time, and we would always get away. But since we got older and older, we're not juveniles anymore. Same with honking fire truck horns on the street or the busy intersections. We were minors. We couldn't go to jail because we were kids. But now, we're old enough to go to jail. We don't do that mess no more. We've grown up older and older and old, older. And you, you all notice, Ham Pow loves horns. We like car horns. We like air horns. And we like sirens. Why is that? I don't know. I just like horns, period. You know, I'm a horn dog. We're horn dogs, so, um, what, what I would do is, like, I collect these as well as my brother. Me and my brother collect these and air horns. And we got, like, um, air horns as well. So, these are one of our weird collections. Do I feel ashamed? Nah. Everybody has a weird thing that they collect. Ham Pow collects horns, etc. And sirens, as course. But, um, and we would honk, I mean, with these, these were very cool, cool and portable. I was able to rig these up in our shirts because we had like hoodies. And we would put like, um, like for example, these ones, we couldn't like put this in um, our jacket like where we could like because they were mounted together but we have some horns like these that um, it comes in a set and we would put you know how your hoodie has like pockets we would put the horn inside our hoodie then we have the wires running inside to the hoodie to our like we had a backpack and we would have like a button 
like one of those um where you you could get at the hardware store and shit and we would uh, like have it like uh, have our hand in our pants pocket and the button will be in our hands pocket we'll be walking down the street and somebody walks but passes they walk past us way up and then whoa what was that happy halloween <laughs> and and um, the co cops were called, and this was like a couple years since we were like 18 that we didn't like honk horn to steal people's candy because we could go to jail for that robbery, you know, because um, that's why I enjoy being a kid. You could get away with a lot of stuff these days. If you're a kid and it's just like minor, like it's like a Halloween prank. They just got pranked and you got your candy t taken away, you know? So, we were like, when we were like 15, 16, 14, we would hide behind bushes, honk the horn, and when the little kids dropped their candy, we would swoop in and take their candy and ran off with it. And the parents would ch chase us. So, since after that, we were 18, we were just, we didn't steal anybody's candy because we realized that was really fucked up. And... It was really bad. So, we'll be like walking down the street. Wamp! Wamp! Happy Halloween. Wamp! Happy Halloween. Wamp! Wamp! Happy Halloween. So, then I went to college. I was introduced to the haunted forest. So, that was kind of a little lame at first. But, we uh, the haunted forest, we were a volunteer. I know the owners really well. They appreciate me and my brother volunteering and stuff. We would just like jump out at people like Wah! and have like scary masks. You've seen videos of it. Wah! Wah! It's that stuff. But this year is our first year that we get to honk a fire truck horn and a train horn. But this is something very new. So with the video and stuff, we, we put like black tape around the lights. Because you know on my other handy cam, it has night vision. So you push a button and you could see in the forest because it has night mode. You've seen um, clips of it. And we've taped, because on the front of the camera, there's a, when it's recording, there's a red dot glowing. We put tape over that so nobody could see it. We put an index card on the screen, tape it around there. You only could see a little bit of the screen, but we didn't want other people to see because you would hear the train horn from miles away or um, when people are coming to the forest, there's a, oh shit, there's a train horn in here. So we knew that was coming, so we, we, we eliminated all the lighting so we could make it dark but still be able to record it as well because we taped up the light on the front we put it we taped an index card on the screen so we only barely could see the screen see through the index card so we so oh, it's recording so when people come past our station they won't say oh look there's the tr if they see the um light or see the red thing i don't want somebody to walk by oh there's the guy with the train horn there he is he's right there get prepared because they would see the light and He's also filming it, so that'll give him a clue that the guy with the train horn is right there. So we eliminated the lighting, so um, we have the camera on a small like tripod-like thing, and it's re we'll put recording, and I'll edit it as well. So I re hit the record button, and the, the people that walk through, yeah, they know there's a guy with the train horn, but they do not know where is the train horn. So they walk possibly side by side, and, but the, peep bad, the, the bad news is the people that we're honking at would be like a couple couple feet back. Say, oh, the guy the train horn, it's, he's near. He's near. That's okay. I want, him, I want them to know that the train horn is near. But they don't know where he's at, though. So I'm talking with the owners of the forest of positioning, where I could be able to position myself, where I could be able to be in the dark, and so people could not see it. But my night mode camera will be able to record their action. Like when they're walking past, whamp, whoa. So y'all could see the reaction of it, you know? So this has been the Halloween vlog. And next week, we stay tuned 
for the Jimmy Don blog. So, I'll catch you in the next week's blog.